Hi there, my name is Aaron Short. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the Elite Acoustics Stomp Mix 4. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I met the guys at Elite a while ago at NAMM and they offered to lend me this mixer to see what I think about it. And I like it a lot. What is it? Well, it's a very small four channel mixer. And when I say four channel, don't get too excited. It's two XLR and two line in. So not four XLR. But even so, a four channel mixer the size of a stomp pedal. That is very cool. It also means that you can put it onto your board. Sorry for the planes flying over, we've got snow here today. So what I've done is I've actually plugged this microphone into the stomp mix, it even provides phantom power. So you're hearing right now the stomp mix, which is then going into my audio interface. So I can actually show you some reverbs and some, some functions. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a demo of the acoustic guitar. Because the way I see it, there's two things about this pedal. I'm gonna kind of go to the end of the, I'm gonna do things backwards today. Because I'm going to tell you now, this is a four-channel mixer for $300. And you're going to say, that's a lot of money for a four-channel mixer. Even though it has effects, parametric EQ, um, a sub-out, so you can have a, like an in-ear monitor mix. If you, if you check the features, you know, it's got reverb, delay. It's got a lot of features in a small pedal. At the same time, for 300 bucks, you can buy a small mixer with eight inputs and those features. Okay? Well... Don't compare it to that. That's comparing apples to oranges because this pedal is impressive in its size and the fact it can go on a pedal board so easily. I'll give you a scenario. When I moved to New York, I bought an acoustic amp and I plugged straight into it. I had no, you know, I just had the basic functions of the amp. I didn't have any like advanced effects or routing like this mixer has. And if I played in a venue that had a PA system or a powered speaker, I had to run just a line out. It wasn't ideal. It wasn't bad. It got me through. But it wasn't ideal. It meant that also if I did a duo gig that I couldn't have the other person plugged in. I had to use like a, a Y cable. They had to share my EQ. It wasn't very professional. Now something like this, the size of a guitar pedal that will fit on a board or indeed in your, in your gig bag means that you can always have a four channel mixer with you. And that's very powerful and very cool. If you live in the city and you travel on the subway and you just want the smallest rig you can get, then obviously, what a great option for you. Amazing option. So the size is attractive. And even a duo, if you've got two singers, two guitars, even a three-piece band with a drummer, you could use this as your, as your mixer. Very, very, very portable mixer. So if you're into a portable, the most portable stuff out there, it's worth considering. Now, who else is this for? Well, the way I see it, and, and obviously there's other uses too, but there's the two main uses. The, the, the musician that wants to travel light, and then, of course, there's the musician with two pickups. Because I haven't really dabbled in acoustic guitars with multiple pickups, but if you do have a system that supports it, this can live on your pedal board, and you can plug two pickups in, you can pan them, you can add effects, you can EQ them separately, you can change the volumes, you can mute them if you have to. It even has two foot pedals where you can assign, like one can turn one pickup off, or one can be a tap tempo for the delay. And let's face it, there's four, like I said, there's four inputs. So actually you could have your vocal mic, two pickups of an acoustic guitar, and an extra vocal mic or a line in for your CD player. Or CD player, what are they? Um, your iPhone or your iPod. So the, the, the test here, the question here is how would you use something like this? Do you need it? If you have an SUV car, you know, if you have a car, and you have a big mixer and you don't need to be portable and your guitar has one input and whatever, that's fine. You probably don't need this. If you travel light, if you like looking at portable options, then stay tuned. Also, if you run two pickups, I'm going to try that out today as well. And I'm excited that it'll be the first time I've done that. Now, before I do that, let me just show you the options you have with the touch mix. It has USB. More features may be added in the future via firmware, which is also cool. Let me show you what you can do just with the mic here. So your mic's plugged in, it's running phantom power, another cool feature, phantom power. Now if I go to channel one, this is the volume, so I can bring it down. Okay, so that, that muted it. You can also press down. You can also press down and hold. And it mutes it, so that's cool. Now if I press it in once, I know you can't see it right now, but press it in once, I've got a low, so here's no low and here's too much low. 
I've got a high. This is too much high, and this is not enough high. Now, these frequencies are preset, but the mid can actually be changed. It's set right now at 1.2K. Hello, hello, hello. I sound like a radio, TV uh, voice, radio voice. And this is zero. So that's really useful. You can sweep through the mids and find those mids that you don't want and take them out or boost them. I will cover parametric EQ in a future video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that stuff. I will be covering it very soon. Press the button again, you get polarity, a notch, a filter. The filter can either be like a notch for a pickup or it can be set to a low pass to take out the, if it's too much low. Again, this is all stuff I'm gonna cover in the future. There's a lot of details here. Needless to say, this mixer has a lot of functionality for the size, it really does. So I press again. Now I've got a gate and a compressor. So a, a gate will help remove noise. A compressor will even out the sound. So without the compressor, if I talk really soft and then really loud, you hear a difference, right? Let me put the compressor on full. I talk really soft, I talk really loud. And halfway, talk really soft, talk really loud. So it evens out the sound, very, very useful. Okay, I keep going. Back to the beginning again. And then what I'll actually do is I'll press on page and it will give me, like I said, a separate mix, which is really useful. So it's got like an auxiliary out. There's actually two outputs and a third auxiliary output, which is a mini jack as well. It will give me delay. delay. Hello? Hello? And there's ways to go in there and tweak all that as well. And also assign to a tap tempo, like I said. It will give me reverb. And again, I can go in and tweak the reverb. It's not like you're stuck with the reverb. Yeah. You can go in and edit it in the parameter section. So that's a really brief overview of what it has. It has a lot of features in a pedal this size, the size of a small pedal. Very, very cool. Now, do you need that? They also make a slightly bigger version, which has Bluetooth and is battery you know, rechargeable. Could be awesome for buskers or little bands at busk. These are very niche products, I feel. They're for certain use cases, not for everyone. Having said that, they sound great. I'm really impressed with the sound. Like, it's obviously high quality components. Very nicely made. I love the little handles on there. You'll see, we're gonna to switch to that now. I'm gonna grab the acoustic, show you some acoustic through it, and also show you two pickups at once. Remember, we could even have two pickups at once and the mic, so when you hear the next demo, the mic will be this mic through the stomp mix, and the pickups will also be in the stomp mix. Three things at once, so more than enough for a gig, and the fourth one could even be your drum machine. So let's go in, and I'll give you a demo of the acoustic. Okay, so I've got my K&K &K plugged into input three, and I've got this Shirtler AG6 plugged into input four. I'm gonna set them up separately and then try to combine them together. You see the output's coming from the left in a single channel out into the interface. So this is the K&K. &K. Typical kind of K&K &K sound, not, not too bad though. Sounds like the impedance is correct. Now, if I click on that channel three, here we go, EQ. So I can actually turn up the highs here because I like to do that on a K and K. And I can adjust the mids. Sometimes on a K and K, I like to change this to around hmm, 500 and then bring this down slightly because it can get a bit harsh on my guitar. Now I can keep going, I can press it again, and I can do a notch at 130. Often I get feedback around that frequency, so I'll leave that. You can see I've been playing with it before, obviously. The high pass uh, 100, yeah, so you can change that from either a high pass here to another notch. So that's really nice, you've got two notches there. Hmm. Or off, or high pass. I like high pass at 100 on a K and K. So there we go, so now we've got the compressor. I don't often use compressors, I don't have access to one, so I'm gonna have just a little touch of compression, not too much. Don't feel I need the gate, there's not much noise there. But what you do is you bring the gate up, and what I love about this gate is that you'll see it's kicking in, see, look. That's the gate activated, so you know when it's activating what it's doing. Obviously up here, the gate's always on. That's gonna really mess up with your sound. For someone learning about what a gate does, this is very cool, you can actually see when the gate is coming on, and play with that. I'll leave that off for now. I don't think we need that on this guitar. I shall go to the next one. Back to EQ again. Great, so it sounds like this.
and with my microphone muted here I think that's a really very usable nice sound so I think what we should do now is apply some effects to channel 3 so there's your auxiliary mix. You can have your main mix and a separate mix. So if you do use in-ear headphones, like I've mentioned in my other videos, you can set up a separate mix for them here. So there's delay mix. I'll bring it in. I'll bring it in. That's on my voice. That's on my voice. I can change it here to channel three. And we can also change that. We can go into parameter. We can set um, like a longer delay more effects happening here repeats more repeats sorry we can change the bpm you can also assign the bpm to a foot switch so you can tap your delays in so that's really cool so i don't actually want any delay on my acoustic so i'm now gonna have to go and turn it off okay i don't want that on channel three so i'm gonna bring it down we go again we should get reverb okay now reverb on three definitely just a touch, not too much. Again, you can edit the reverb, make it longer, shorter, whatever you want to do. So just a touch. I actually would like that to be longer. So here we go. I'd like the decay to be longer. And then I'll have less amount. So I'll bring the amount down and I'll put this um, reverb on both channels that I'm going to be doing with the guitar. None on the voice. Okay. Okay, so I'll mute the mic. I'll show you what that sounds like. That's probably too much reverb, but I'm going to leave it for now. And I think that sounds really nice. So now I'm going to mute that one by holding down. And I'll do the same in this pickup, with this pickup. So here's what the pickup sounds like. Quite a lot of microphone there. Very nice sound. Sounds like the guitar, but louder, I think. Which is always good. Ah, the mids have been cut on this one. Highs boosted as well. So that's been played with before, but that actually seemed to work well. So I'm going to leave that. We're on channel three now. Oh, channel four, sorry. So I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to do a high pass at 80. That's fine. I'm not going to notch it. I don't need to right now. Compression's on. Again, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, so that's four. <laughs> So that's nice, that's kind of like, that's like the mic and the, you hear the sound hole, the magnetic pickup. You don't get much of that body sound you get from the K&K, &K, but we're gonna blend the two together. Let me mute my microphone so you can just hear the pickup. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mute my microphone, unmute both pickups and play them together and try and blend them together. Let's see what it sounds like.
So I have to say, you know, the K and K and the, the two pickups separately sound decent. They sound good. But the two together, at least on headphones, sound really good. I was really impressed. So there you go. If you have the option to do this, well, even if you just have like two pickups and you want to do this sometimes, then a great thing to have. And remember, I'm still talking to you through the microphone input with Phantom as well. So you've got Phantom Power and there's still an XLR jack combo on the right side right here that's not being used. So you've actually got another input there as well waiting to be used. So this is great. It's it's for the size of this thing. It's incredibly powerful. I think it sounds really good, but I think the, the actual idea of this thing is phenomenal. And if you want to be light and compact, I mean, you can't get much better than this, right? Okay, let's switch back to my other view. So I was pretty impressed with that. What did you think? I'm, it sounds really great. If you have a dual source pickup system, this is worth considering, especially if you want to travel light. If you're a small band that wants to leave the mixer at home, this is worth considering. It's incredibly small and light and it sounds good and it's powerful. Now I'll be covering other mixers in the future. If you want something a bit bigger that has even more functionality, maybe an app, more inputs, I'm gonna cover those. But I don't think I'll be covering anything for a long time that's this small and this powerful. So I'm really impressed. Thank you, Elite. Hope to see more of your products in the future. Hope to try some more things out. And until next time, stay tuned and please subscribe. Thank you, bye-bye.